Hohenzollern Castle is a popular motif for photographers. Not just for tourists, but for locals as well, like this soccer team from nearby Steinhofen. For us, Hohenzollern Castle is part of home. About half a million tourists come here, but we have it on our doorstep. The 19th century castle has served as a backdrop for Hollywood films. It sits atop the Zollerberg like a Gothic fortress. The Hohenzollerns certainly built themselves an impressive structure. What's special about this castle is that it's a national cultural monument because it's the ancestral castle of the House of Hohenzollern, the family of hereditary Prussian, hence German, kings and emperors. It attracts visitors from around the world. Inside the castle, you can find out more about the Hohenzollern dynasty. Among the most famous members of the family, Prussian King Frederick the Great. and the last German emperor, Wilhelm II. The castle is still owned by the Hohenzollerns. In the entrance hall with its painted family tree, you see the family members who were born more recently, like George Frederick, Prince of Prussia. And here you see George Frederick five years ago. He married the daughter of a German count, Princess Sophie von Isenburg Bierstein, and he's the head of the family right now. There are special tours for children, with costumes to wear, and chain mail they can touch. If you like, you can take it in your hands to feel the weight. You're very strong, I know. Strong, it's very heavy. It weighs about six kilos. Is it heavy? Yeah. The treasury contains valuable items belonging to the family. Like the dented snuffbox that belonged to Frederick the Great. It saved his life when a bullet lodged in it. Here, set with gemstones and pearls, is the crown of the last German emperor. There's also a beer garden. Hohenzollern Castle is a popular venue for engagement and wedding parties. Like this couple from China. What do they and their friends think about the castle? Oh,